Hey guys, I'm Curtis with Wander with the Workmans, and welcome to Oasis State Park. Oasis State Park is almost directly between Clovis, New Mexico and Portales, New Mexico. And this state park is definitely worth the stop. We purchased the New Mexico State Park Pass and so that's how we discovered this campsite. But as we have traveled throughout New Mexico and experienced a few of their state parks, this one takes the cake as being the crowning jewel of the New Mexico state park system, which is to say quite a bit because the overall state park system here, based on our experience, has been wonderful, but this is top notch. Uh, there are over 30 RV sites here, all of which are pull through sites. Now there are some that are reservable. Those come with concrete pads. They have picnic pavilions that have wind breaks with them. And so they're a little bit nicer than the non-reservable sites, which are gravel pads and the picnic pavilions only have a sunshade. They don't have a windbreak wall. But that's not to say all uh, that any of these sites are bad sites. You have wonderful views of kind of a high desert climate and uh, they're very easily accessible. Now, um, in terms of the logistics of this site, First of all, I gotta mention the garbage cans. I know that's a weird thing to point out, but there are garbage cans everywhere and it works perfectly. There is no loose trash around this park because they're so easily, the access to garbage cans is so readily available that you don't have wrappers and other trash blowing around. Everything is incredibly clean here. And speaking of incredibly clean, the bathrooms. You can see the building right behind me here. These bathrooms are only about five years old, according to park staff, and they are in immaculate condition. They are maintained and cleaned every single day, and it shows. They're wonderful. Uh, they include showers. Um, there is, on top of men's and women's restrooms with showers in them, there's also a family restroom. Uh, each, uh, each of the restrooms, the showers are handicap accessible as well, and again, marvelous absolutely stunning compared to some of the other places we've been across the country. These bathrooms are, it's like being in a sticks and bricks house. I have to rave about them. Probably a little bit more than you'd normally expect somebody to rave about bathrooms. Um, there is a dump station on site here as well. The sites do not include sewer hookups, but there is a dump station on site. Again, we are talking about a one-sided dump site, so plan your turn accordingly. It does seem to favor coming into the park versus going out of the park. So dump on your way in and then know you're gonna have to spin around a little bit. Uh, in terms of other amenities available here, there are tent camping sites. There is a group pavilion uh, or group shelter for larger groups. And there are picnic sites here as well. And they have a three acre fishing pond that is stocked regularly with catfish and trout. So there's a lot going on just inside the park here. Now there are some things to be aware of. First of all, the gravel sites that are not reservable, they're first come, first serve, they're not particularly level. You will have to work to level. In fact, this is the first time that we've had to put two of our links blocks underneath one side of our trailer since we left Idaho. Other than that, we've been able to get away with just one or none, but this is the first time we've had to use two. So they're not the most level sites in the world. They are easily accessible. As I said, they're all pull through sites, so no worries there. Uh, each of the sites offer uh, power hookups of 50, 30, and 20 amp uh, power. So that is readily available. And in theory, they do offer water hookups. Now, this is something to be aware of. Right now, the uh, well here at Oasis State Park is showing a high level of nitrates uh, present in the water and this is kind of a half issue in that for people who are um, adult and of relatively decent health this actually isn't an issue you can use the water however if you have infants or toddlers especially if they need something like formula or juice mixed up with water or if you're not in the best of health or you're elderly this can be an issue and so you will need to bring in water and in fact for 
reasons of not contaminating our water system inside of our trailer, we have decided to not hook up to the water here, but instead have gone into uh, Portales and Clovis and purchased water there as well. However, the water is good for, in all cases, for cleaning like showers, if you want to shower in your rig, or you want to do dishes, that type of thing. Um, nitrates are not as big an issue as you possibly could have in a water system. I know from working through my time on city council with the water department in our city that if you're going to have a problem with water, nitrates is the problem you want to have because it's e easily solvable. And with that in mind, I suggest you call ahead when you see that if you see this video in the future, which everything's in the future, right? But if if it's way in the future, call ahead because the New Mexico State Park System is currently working on installing a filtration system to solve this nitrate problem. So by the time you're seeing this, it may not be an issue at all. Go ahead and give them a call ahead of time if you're planning on stopping here because hopefully they'll have that all figured out in a few months from when I release this video. Um, Something to keep in mind about the fishing pond, it is truly a bank fishing pond. There is no wading and there is no floating of any type. So it is just purely on the bank, but it is a gorgeous fishing pond and there's a nice trail that wanders around it if you just want to be near the water and see people fishing as well. One thing to note about the showers as well, they are 100% solar powered. There's no backup water heating system in the bathrooms and so if it's cloudy, if it's cool, you're not going to see uh, you're not going to see warm water. Um, it's warmer than freezing, but it's not that great. However, if you have sunshine and decent temperatures, it's the best shower you're ever going to experience in a public shower. So just something to keep in mind when, when you're here. Now in terms of the area, again you're splitting the difference between Portales and Clovis. Um, Clovis is slightly farther away so it isn't a direct split. However, both towns have Walmarts, have a lot of the amenities that you're going to expect and the basic rule is if Portales doesn't have it, Clovis does. And so we've been able to get to Walmarts, get to auto parts, stores, find restaurants, that type of thing uh, to go to. Um, you're also close to... Cannon Air Force Base. Now, the things I noted about Cannon Air Force Base, first of all, there may be options if you are DOD, retired DOD, former military or active military to actually stay on base. That is something you'll have to contact the base about. Um, but it is the quietest Air Force Base I have ever been near. I've been near Hill, Mountain Home, Davis Mothin, and a few others, and they're kind of fun to be around because for a few days it feels like you're living inside of an air show, but Cannon Air Force Base has been quiet. We've only experienced some light helicopter noise off into the distance and a couple of flyovers of large transport aircraft. So don't let it bother you because you're not really going to be dealing with any noise at all. But it is kind of neat uh, to see flight operations there. The other thing to note about this area is Oasis State Park is only a couple of miles from the Blackwater Draw site. Now that may not ring a bell for a lot of people right off hand, but what Blackwater Draw is known for is it is the initial discovery of what is known as Clovis Man. Now when it was discovered and for many years after, Clovis Man was considered to be the first human inhabitant of the North American continent, the true, the, the very first um, North or uh, Native American. Since then, it's been discovered that there were human ha there was human habitation predating that with cultural differences from Clovis. Um, however, since those discoveries have been made uh, in general terms and in very common man language, history is divided up into Clovis and pre-Clovis, which is all considered prehistory, and then after that, it is considered history. Um, and so that happens here. There are options for you to call in and arrange a site visit. They're occasionally open. Uh, during November, it's not. I don't think anybody wants to be out in the cold uh, working those sites and exploring those sites. But you can call and arrange for a, a site visit. And the Eastern New Mexico University Anthropology Department maintains a very nice website and an excellent museum explaining the discoveries and the impact of those discoveries that were made here. Uh, at the Blackwater Draw site. Oasis State Park is definitely worth the stop. There seems to be a lot of, of things on the list of things to be aware of, but don't let them 
shy you away from this wonderful state park. The staff is friendly, the facilities are wonderful, and it is a great jumping off point for exploring the Clo Clovis and Portalis area. Uh, if you've been here before, why don't you leave us a comment down below and, and tell us about your experiences here at Oasis State Park. In the meantime, if you are liking what we're doing and you want to keep up with our travels and our adventures, be sure to click the subscribe button. It's still right down there, right below me. Click on that. It'll bring up the bell icon and you can click on that. YouTube will send you a notification anytime we put out a new video. If you want to keep up on our more day-to-day short-term adventures, you can follow us on Instagram. We are Wander with the Workmans on Instagram. And in the meantime, guys, we'll catch you down the road.